the one all the way down. Okay. <laughs> well, with the amount of times I've used the shade Submerge, Submerge. I can't speak, you guys. Hello my beautiful babes, what is up? It's Brandy. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this look. If you guys are interested, then please keep on watching. Whoop. Let me scooch over just a tad. Alright, so obviously I'm going to be using the beautiful Thirsty palette. I love the look that I created during my birthday. I was obsessed. Unfortunately, in my birthday vlog, you couldn't really see the detail because of the poor lighting. I am so sorry about that. But today, you'll really be able to see the detail and everything like that. Now, the first shade I'm going to be dipping into is the one all the way down here called Drizzle. And as always, I'm going to be applying them with my beautiful blinged brushes. I'm going to be applying this on my E13 brush. Oh my goodness. I used this mirror once and I used, <laughs> and I must have had the setting spray way too close to me because I already have like the little droplets. Yeah, you see that? I only used it once. I have to clean it. Oh my goodness. There we go. So much better. I was gonna see if I could do it with that, like with a dirty mirror, and I was like, I, I just, I couldn't. And I'm so pissed. But this is why I hate shopping at Clears because that cute little diamond, well, diamond, that little stud that was right over here in my nose piercing, just like, poop, fell out in my sleep. In my sleep. I didn't even have it for a week. This is why I love and I hate shopping at Claire's and I went online and I tried to find something similar to this that was just more high quality and it was legit almost nearly impossible. So I could change it back to my other one but to be honest I was kind of sick of the other one. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just going to leave it in for the moment whatever anyway as I said I'm gonna be taking that shade drizzle on an E13 and you know what I'm drawing a blank to what I did <laughs> yeah okay so I'm gonna place this all over the crease Woo! sometimes I forget how pigmented these shades are Using that same shade and that same brush, I'm now going to take that on the outer half of the lid. So now I'm just going to take a E12 brush, it has nothing on it, and I'm just going to blend out these edges so they're not as harsh. Then I'm going to be dipping into this lovely shade over here which is called Kumquat gonna take that on an E13 brush and I'm gonna place this all over the crease to help blend out those edges. Moving on, I'm gonna be taking this one over here, this beautiful bright yellow. To be honest, I never thought I would dip into these three shades the most, but I do. Honestly, out of this entire palette, I literally all I do is dip into this bottom row I live by this bottom row there's just something about it it just calls my name every single time and with the summer it just warms my heart anyway I'm gonna be grabbing the shade quench but like as I said is this beautiful bright yellow and I'm going to be grabbing that on, what is this, my E22 brush. And I'm going to be applying this in the upper, upper crease, I guess you can say. So it's going to be basically right where we place the shade Kumquat, but a little bit higher too. So basically, I'm going to place it right where I would highlight the brow bone. So I'm going to start in the inner corner by the crease and then follow it all the way up to where I would highlight my brow bone. 
Now I feel that kumquat is slightly getting lost, which is okay. If you feel like that is the case, you can obviously go back and slightly reinforce her. Now it's time for the pop of color. As always, when cutting the crease, I love using the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. And I'm just going to be applying that on my E16 brush. So now I'm just going to be taking the shade Submerge. And I'm going to take that on, what is this, an E15 brush. I'm just going to place that shade right where we just cut the crease. Oh my goodness, look at that pigmentation. Woo! Oh my goodness. Now these edges look kind of rough. Kind of. I mean, I think they could be a whole lot worse. So I'm going to dip into the shade Drizzle just a little bit. And I'm just going to use this to blend out the edges. Moving on to the bottom lashes. I'm going to take the shade Drizzle on an E22 brush, I believe this is. Yes. <laughs> Couldn't see there for a second. And I'm going to place this all over the lower lash line so i'm just gonna be taking another e22 but i'm gonna be dipping into the shade submerge and i'm just gonna apply that right underneath the lower lash line as well just to help blend out the edges still using that same brush I just want this little inner part of the lower lash line to just be a little bit brighter. So I'm just going to take the shade Parch, just a tad. And just run that right over there. Just like that. Oh, so much better. Okay, now for the inner highlights. I'm going to be taking the shade Plunge. So beautiful. Love this shade. I'm going to grab that on an E26. Just going to place that right over here. Woo! I love this for the inner highlight. Essentially, this is basically it for the eyes. I'm just going to quickly hop off camera, do the last few little touches, and then I'll be right back to do the lips with you guys. That took me a lot longer than I had expected, mostly because this wing was giving me some trouble. I don't know why. It was as if I was doing wing liner for the very first time. I don't know. I was just having some difficulties. She's definitely a uh, have seen better days. Speaking of wing liner, I use the ColourPop Liquid Liner in the shade Grande. Just a beautiful brown. I love it. I think it complements the look so well. And then for the inner waterline, I use the ColourPop Bra uh, blah, blah, blah. that's amazing i use the color pop liner in the shade marigold now for my highlight i use the jeffree star cosmetics supreme frost in the shade frozen peach you guys know i love this so much now unfortunately i forgot to highlight my brow bone so i'm going to quickly do that and i'm just going to apply that with my what is this f25 it's gonna be a little hard to do with these lashes, but I'll make it work. <laughs> and for my lashes, guys, please excuse them. They probably look so freaking crusty. These are the Style Gazelle from Huda Beauty. You guys know they are one of my all-time favorite pair of lashes. However, I need to get a new one. Yeah, these lashes, they look a little, uh... They're crusty, not gonna lie. <laughs> They're crusty as heck. Moving on to the lips, which is pretty much my favorite part in this entire look. Because I have these two new products that I really reviewed in my birthday vlog. But unfortunately, my SD card bugged out and I accidentally somehow deleted my review. Not only that, but it, I didn't want the vlog to be too long. 
So it kind of worked out, but I'm just going to tell you guys my thoughts about the beautiful Velvet Trap lipstick as well as the Supreme Gloss. I mentioned this, as I said, in my birthday vlog. I recently purchased them when he had his lipstick sale. It was buy one, get one free, or one for a less value. Of course, these two are in the shades that I don't already own, which was very hard to find because I have the vault <laughs> which has so many nude lipsticks but first I'm going to quickly line my lips with the Dragon Beauty lip job liner in the shade 2.0 cc just gonna do that so my lips don't disappear with this lipstick for the moment I've been waiting for you guys if I could describe this formula first of all before i even get into the formula let's talk about the packaging it is beautiful simple but iconic just like jeffrey it is like a bullet very classy luxurious and it's magnetic like whoop. i love that and i just love the detail within this lipstick how you can see the Jeffree Star logo on the lipstick itself. I personally love that. I saw it and it made it just oh so special. This is in the shade Naked Body. This is the perfect shade for me personally. So if you guys are even close to my skin type, grab this shade. Uh amazing now for the formula guys <laughs> like you know when you swatch his formulas and you're like oh they're so buttery they're so creamy they feel amazing that's how my lips feel right now so that was the velvet trap lipstick in the shade naked body for the supreme gloss this is in the shade house tour both very similar in shades but they're not first of all let's talk about this applicator so wonky looking i'm not gonna lie it's definitely different and original but can you see all that product right over there the amount of product that comes off of this is truly insane and i'm obsessed with the smell of this it smells like cake batter. And then this is the shade Naked Body. As you can see, they are almost identical, but slightly different. I'm going to be taking the Supreme Gloss and placing that right over. Like... one swipe that's all it takes for me personally i like the way the applicator of the supreme gloss feels on my lips and i like the smell a lot more than the gloss itself that's just my opinion do i feel a difference in the formula absolutely it's creamy it's thick. I wish that I could explain the Supreme Gloss in such better terms. They're beautiful. They're luxurious to look at. I'm obsessed with both of these new formulas and to be honest, I personally prefer the Velvet Trap over the Velour Liquid Lipsticks just because of how comfortable they make my lips feel. But yeah, you guys, I... Jasper! <laughs> Do you want to say hi? Oh, you you just opened the door and you decided to leave. Okay, come and go as you please. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave the door open. Anyway, <laughs> I love how this look came out overall. Even if my hair is doing whatever it wants as per usual, and I have some crusty lashes <laughs> besides that 
I love the eye makeup look overall. I think it's so cute. Perfect for summer. But yeah, you guys, that's basically it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, as well as hitting the notification bell. As always, every product used today will be linked down below in the description box. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.